the standard Agnesis solutions today. We're going to do an install with the IV6000 injector driver module. This module fits the 10.3 and 12.9 liter tier 3 and tier 4 Iveco engines, such as what's in this 385 Steiger here. We're going to go through briefly, show you the main connection points as well as us installing it to hopefully make things a little bit better for you when you're ready to do it at that time. Uh, this module features uh, three settings. It is stock. 15 and 30 percent when you get it it should be on the 30 percent setting this is where you're going to see your best benefits as far as power gains as well as fuel economy uh, always remember when installing our modules make sure that the tractor is powered down and if there is a master switch be sure that it is shut off uh, we're going to go over the main connection points now as you look in your installation instructions it's going to show you very detailed where everything is going to go and what connectors we're going to be working with so first off, we're going to go and uh, we're going to work with the map sensor connector on the intake horn. We'll also be working with one of the ECM connectors. As uh, stated in your installation instructions, it's going to be the one on the top, not the one on the bottom. Uh, once you get these apart, you'll see that the connectors are different, so there is no way to put it into the wrong one. Uh, also, the power and ground locations, generally on most of ECHO applications, we go uh, power to the alternator, which you can see right here. And then the AC compressor is also a good place for a ground. As you can see, there's already a ground strap here. Uh, the nut on the alternator for the power and the bolt on the AC compressor for the ground are both 13 millimeters. So just be sure to have a 13 millimeter socket handy or wrench to get those loose. Uh, in order to get to the ECM connector that we're going to be working with, you got to take both of them off. It just makes it easier. So. We'll go ahead and take this one off on the bottom. We will not be working with this one, so just sit it off to the side. Uh, these levers, they do have indention points, so just make sure that the lock comes out of that on the harness and just release it down. You might have to put a little pressure on it. Don't be scared. It should come out with ease. And then once that's fully unlocked, you just release it like that. We'll also go ahead and release the map sensor. This is just a single push tab. So, as you can see, you just push down on that. You heard it release. We'll go ahead and take our female ECM connector and put it to where it's supposed to go into the ECM. And make sure these connectors, in order for them to go in, make sure it's fully released, such as it would be on the factory connector once removed. And we're going to go through. There's only one way for these to go in. Do not force them into the ECM. You see that went in there like that. The lock on our connector is actually going to be the opposite of what the factory is. But the way that we're putting it in is what is stated in your installation instructions. So once the female connector from our harness is into the ECM, we will take the factory female connector and go into our male connector. Now, I can see where this would be a little more confusing if you're plugging it in, but uh, if you look on this female connector, on one side there is an indention point that lines up with the alignment tab and this male connector on our harness. Just make sure that that indention point slides right in line with that. Otherwise it won't go in the opposite way. So we'll go ahead. That's in. We'll go ahead and lock it now. See that's locked fully into place and then we can go ahead and take the other ECM connector and connect it as well okay. now we will take the female map sensor connector from our harness and plug it into the sensor itself we use all factory OEM connectors so we'll take the female portion from our harness and go into the map sensor make sure all connections snap into place that's when you know that they're connected properly as we heard that snap we'll now take the female connector from the factory engine harness and go to our male connector and there's only one way for these to go on as well make sure the locking tab is on the ramp side as seen here and that'll connect. So now we will go ahead 
and route the ground to the AC compressor here. take our power strap and go to the power location on the alternator see just like that so we'll get all these connection points fastened up and we will follow up make sure the tractor runs properly and we will be we now have the power and ground straps ran and we've got all the connection points tightened up as well as you can see your finished product make sure that the uh, protective boot goes over that too it'll help prevent any corrosion from occurring um, as listed in your install instructions too, be sure to mount this module in a good secure place. As you can see here, we routed it on the factory wiring harness on the loom. Uh, that's a good location. Just make sure it's out of the elements. No weather can get to it. And just another tech tip too, when mounting these modules, if you can, mount them with the switch facing down towards the ground. That way if any moisture does come in, it cannot seep through the switch or the harness. Uh, may potentially cause issues. We don't see that very often, but it has happened. Uh, so that'll help you eliminate that from happening. But as you can see, we also got the module uh, connected as well as the harness. If there's any excess harness, just try to tighten it up as well and keep it from moving around. Uh, I want to thank this customer for another great module. Um, he's ran one on his combine for the first time. Very satisfied, very happy with the gains and incentives we're giving him with our product. Uh, if you have any other questions, be sure to check us out on our YouTube page, our Facebook page, Instagram, as well as our website, AggieSolutions.com. Also there you'll find more installation videos, installation instructions, and if you have any other questions that you want to talk to one of our uh, uh, people at our facility directly with them, you can call the number listed on the box or on that website. I want to thank you guys for joining us today. Always remember to farm smart, farm efficient, farm with Solutions. Thank you guys. Have a great day.